A SEAL, Environmental Agency. You're violating animal protection laws. But I never eat animals! I mean your purse. You're carrying a dead animal. Yikes! I killed an animal? I wasn't trying to do anything bad. Well then you're lucky I came by. Wow, I got lucky. Here, have my purse. Oh, hello there, pretty girl. Let's see what I can do for you. How about a charming summer dress? Or maybe something rustic? I also have underwear in stock. Panties, bras in all sizes. I even have a dressing room. There's one that would fit you just perfectly. Stop! What? I need a bra, but triple D, please. Oh, really? Oh, I wish I had some better glasses. But I don't see any clothes, just cloth. Unfortunately, something bad already happened yesterday. I went over to the fruit stand to buy a few yummy melons. And suddenly, as I was checking the melons, well, it, it turned out <laughs> they weren't melons at all. They were, you know, um, they were the market woman's, um... Well, anyway, my cheek hurt for hours. You should go to the optician before something really bad happens to you. Hmm. Yeah, my tailoring business is in a crisis right now. Either I've started to lose some of my tailoring talents, or my scissors are garbage. Maybe you're not a tailor at all. Now you just listen, I'm a great tailor. I've made great clothes for the Pharaoh, and she loved them. Although I do find her tastes in clothing a little masculine. The Pharaoh isn't a woman, you blind bat. How do you know? Did you check? I wouldn't have expected something like that from you. So what's with your scissors? Ah, uh, honestly, I think they're dull. I need to have them sharpened again. Exactly. That's my job. That's great. Here are the scissors. Well, I could still see things. I would walk down to the Nile to sharpen my tools. Don't try anything stupid. Hey, take your hands off me, gorilla. What's going on over there? Did you see the game at all? I fell asleep during the second half. Do you want to buy me? I'm a first-class slave. My son is going to be the great Ben-Hur. Hang on, Ben-Hur? How do you know? You know, that's a long story. Okay then, tell it. Actually, I don't come from Egypt at all. I ended up here on accident. A few aliens brought me here after a short trip to Rome. Aliens? I actually lived in a small village close to Kingston upon Hull. I learned how to swim and dive there. Well, in 1976, a few aliens abducted me from the Andromeda Nebula. We traveled through the entire galaxy together. We had a great time. Django, the boys and I had a lot of fun in the Star Cruiser until they beamed me down to good old Earth. Django? Unfortunately, they didn't hit my correct time. Django had a few beers. You know how it is. Goodbyes, complex technology, and yesterday's hangover. Well, you make mistakes quickly then. Everyone makes mistakes now and then. Anyway, that's how I got to Rome. Don't want to complain. Had an interesting time at the Gladiator School. Well, you know, you're like a star. And the fans recognize you wherever you go. Constant press, autographs, and wild groupies in the bathroom of dive bars. The Emperor at the time, Caesar, was a good buddy of mine. There were lots of orgies. Wine and grapes in those days, you know. Ben-Hur must have been conceived around this time. Ben-Hur? Can't really say he was a father's dream. No, not really. Constant stress, lots of drugs, and he always wanted me to give him money, you know? Yeah, man. And then there was this terrible misfortune with Caesar and his berserk brother. Hell, 
They were all out of their minds then. I broke out of the gladiator school and made myself a time machine <laughs> out of one of Caesar's crunchy cereal boxes. Something on the flux capacitor must have broken. Well, and that's how I landed here. Right smack in Combat L Wombat's house. Combat L Wombat? No. Really? He sold me right away as a house and garden slave to Kvon Dachem. And that one sold me as a garage and garden slave to Elten Mutschat. And since then, he's been wanting to sell me, but can't get rid of me. My, what an interesting life. Anyway, that's not even half as interesting as El Mutschop's brother's life. Oh, yeah, he's deaf, you know. But he really dealt well with his life as a slave. He has an ex-wife and his little daughter. Kid, it even makes me get sappy. He takes care of her completely on his own. Man, she can't even talk yet. But she's already really helpful. There's a rumor going around that he has a new girlfriend and that she's really rich with a big house and a garden and everything. Even though El Muchob's brother is deaf. All right then, do you want to buy me now or what? I can read and write and swim. Good, good, I'll have a talk with the slave master. Good idea. Inside the arena? Well, you know, the slaves are always sitting behind the stadium. And how can you see the game then? Al Ratchib usually sits on the shoulders of his brother. Hello, sir. You're in the right place if you have uh, something particular in mind. I'm obviously in the wrong place. Later. Gotcha! The scissors are sharp now! Yummy! Fish! Here's your payment. Lunch time, Black Eye. Oh, the aftertaste is a bit strange. Mmm. I feel so... Oh, queer. I think I've got to go somewhere. Quickly! I'll come with you! I could need something to wipe my... Um, 